bringing a devotional thought today, hoping that you're walking in peace even in the middle of times that maybe don't lend toward peace. These are some pretty amazing days that we're walking through. The challenge of COVID-19 has upset the world and the systems of the world, but one thing that can't be upset is that we have a connection to God, the God of the universe that loves us, that has a plan that no matter what we go through, he's present and he will help us to walk through whatever challenges we might face. I find this verse in Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 10, directly a word from God about fear when he says, fear not for I am with you. That's such a comforting thought. Fear not for I am with you. He's going to walk with us in everything that we go through. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God makes promises to us that in the middle of whatever we're going through, we should keep our eyes on Him, not get distracted by the situation that we're in the middle of, by the circumstances that are changing all around us. It's easy to get fearful with jobs that seem to be fleeing from us, with all kinds of challenges where we can't be with people that typically comfort us, even being in those close-knit relationships. In the middle of all of this, God says, I'm there for you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. This is a truth I think we know, yet in times like this, it's simply that we need to be reminded even over and over again. I find that for myself. There's truths that I know, but I can easily let those truths slip away from me in my conscious thoughts. I have to come back to them and renew those thoughts every day. Renew the reality of who Jesus is and what his promises are for me. And I encourage you today about the promises of God that he is there for you. I still have this sense of urgency in my heart that I can't wait till we get back together again. That just seems to grow every day. An anticipation of, man, that's gonna be so awesome when we can open up the doors and all meet together. We have that desire and that longing. But in the meantime, we're still connected. We're connected by the relationship we have to an eternal God, a mighty God, one who has promised that he would be with us. And he says, fear not, for I am with you. Be encouraged with that thought. It's one you know. Let it just be renewed today and all day, remembering who he is. We're looking forward to what's ahead. Friday, Good Friday, we're going to have a live meditation. It's a time of just reflecting on who Jesus is. We're going to bring that right from my living room to you at noon on Friday. So you can tune into that. And then also Sunday with Easter. What an amazing day when the Easter message is going to go out so many ways to the whole world simultaneous. It's going to be quite remarkable. We're going to bring our service at 1030 and it will be a time to reflect on the power of Jesus in the resurrection. Remember that you can access some invite tools, some social media tools you can use to invite people to come and listen and be a part of the experience we have at Capitol in reflecting on the power of the resurrection message of Jesus. You can access that at our website, capitalonline.cc. Excellent tools, ways that you can message this to your neighbors, to your friends, and there's no barriers right now to getting the good news out to people who are ready to receive the love that God has for them. So I'm praying for you, God's blessing, his favor. In fact, let me do that before we sign off here today. Father God, I'm asking for your grace, for your favor, for the awareness of everyone watching today that you are with them, that you're for them, that you've promised that you'll uphold each of us with your righteous right hand. I pray you'll do that today for my friends and within our capital family that will stay united. I ask you to unite us by your grace and by your spirit and give us the most glorious 
Easter weekend, maybe we've ever had, even though it's different than we've ever had, but God, that you'll do something great in the middle of it. We pray that in your favor on everyone. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and have an amazing day today.